This review has been made possible by Toyota of Naperville. As you know, Toyota has tons of brand new Toyotas available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to toyotaofnaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2003 Toyota Corolla S. Up front is a 1.8 liter inline four, and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here Corolla S for a couple of reasons, but mainly last December I drove a 2002 Corolla S, which was the previous body style. And so now I get to drive the next generation of the S. You guys really like that review of the Corolla S from 2002, so I hope you guys also enjoy the review from 2003. Before we get on with the rest of the video, I have a website, ZachParrell.com, where you could submit your own vehicle to be reviewed. You could buy merchandise as well as you could read my blog. I do a bunch of behind the scenes posts about what I'm filming, what you can expect from the channel, and other things like that. So check that out, ZachParrell.com or if you'd like to submit your vehicle via email, you can email me at pradlereviews at gmail.com. Again, both of those will be found in the description below. But let's get back to that 1.8 liter inline four under the hood. Well, it's the same engine as the outgoing Corolla S, the 1ZZFE. However, this one gets a plastic intake manifold and a little bit of a power bump up to 130 horsepower here for the Corolla S, which is fine. This isn't going to be a speed demon, but if you're buying a Corolla S to do drag strip times, you might have bought the wrong car. I really like the 1ZZ. I think it's a fine motor from Toyota. And we'll talk about its characteristics a little bit later on. They tie in with my final thoughts. Like I said, paired to it is a four speed automatic transmission. It's fine. It's not very precise, but it's doing the job and it's been doing the job for almost 20 years now. Last but not least, of course, the Corolla S is front wheel drive. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have three main gauges and this is the first part of the S package that you'll notice. So the S package blacks out the interior as well as it adds these white face gauges. Kind of a sportier look for 2003. On the far left, I have my tachometer. Then I have my speedometer in the center and my coolant temperature and fuel to the far right. I also do get a tiny little digital readout at the bottom showing me my outside temperature and odometer. The steering wheel doesn't have anything on it. However, it's very much like the 2002 steering wheel. It has this gear in the center. And I like the overall look and feel of it. Off to the left, I have a climate control vent, my gauge dimmer switch, power mirror adjusters, and a little coin holder. Down below those mirror adjusters, I do have the same cubby that I found in the 2002. But in the 2002, it says for storage only. Now they have just opted for a no smoking sticker. A little bit of Toyota evolution there. Moving on to the door, I have my lock and unlock and power windows. And I get this nice piece of what looks like almost 90s fabric on the door. I actually really, really like that. Reminds me of a lot of Japanese domestic market vehicles that I've driven. Moving into the center, we have a very bland, very basic radio. I do have a CD player as well as a cassette deck of course am and fm as well very typical of 2003 i wouldn't really expect anything different down below that we have the hazard switch and climate controls of course where to send it fan speed and temperature as well as recirculating ac and defrost these buttons are very large which is nice for someone who might need visual aids or a little bit of help finding stuff. Down below the climate controls, I do have two cubbies. One of them goes inward to the dash and the other one is sort of a fold out storage bin. But again, like over to the left, it has the no smoking sticker. So this is not an ashtray. Then I do have a 12 volt outlet down on the center console and we get the shifter itself. It's finished in this weird chrome. I'm not really in love with it, but I also don't hate it. And it's not the jigsaw shifter that we come to know and love from Toyota. It's actual push button, which I prefer. Then I have another little extra cubby for coins or probably garbage. And then we have cup holders. So we'll do a big friggin' bottle test in the Corolla S from 2003. And just like I suspected, it unfortunately fails. Then I do have a small center console and the seats. 
The seats are also finished in this black cloth, the same cloth feeling material that I liked so much on the door cards. I really enjoy the feeling of these. You know, these seats aren't hard. Modern Corolla seats are hard. These actually aren't. And as of right now, I actually threw out my back yesterday. I fell on ice and these are not uncomfortable. Although I wish that they were heated a little bit for my muscle pain. With that being said, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2003 Toyota Corolla S. And honestly, this is my driving position. My knees are not hitting the front seat, which is very nice to see out of a Corolla. I know this generation of Corolla is getting bigger and I talk about that a lot more coming up, scrap in. But honestly, the back seat, I'm pleasantly surprised. It has the nice same material found up front. I do get an ashtray. Just kidding, those are fold out cup holders. Wow, that really compact that. Power windows, I mean, headroom isn't amazing, but if I slouch down a little bit, it's fine. Knee room, I'm really, really impressed with a car this size. Nothing really else to report back here. So let's go take a quick look at the cargo space and trunk, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 2003 Toyota Corolla S, as you can see right there. There you go. All right. So trunk is actually pretty big on these, which is fantastic. Again, I was impressed with the back seat and now I'm impressed with the trunk space. It has this great early 2000s, what looks like computer mat, so you can roll your computer desk chair. I can fold down the rear seats from the push of a button, which is very, very nice. Now we gotta talk about the looks and this is the other part of the Corolla S that stands out. The Corolla S gets different front and rear bumpers, side skirts, and a spoiler on the back as part of the S package. Now the S trim level was actually up towards the top and got most of the features as well as it also got 15 inch alloy wheels. But unfortunately at some point in this car's 120,000 mile life, they've been swapped out for the regular steelies with hubcaps. And so let's talk about this Corolla's long life with my final thoughts here on the 2003 Toyota Corolla S. Well, like I said, I just drove very recently in my mind, a 2002 Corolla S. Here it is in all of its glory. You guys really liked that review and I'm very appreciative of that. But now this is the 2003 and it's gotten a little bit bigger. It's a little bit heavier. And so here's how I feel. The Corollas of the 1980s were athletic. Those were the high school state champions. Let's just stick with football. Those were the football state champions. The TE72 and the AE86, of course, they're athletic, they're light, they're nimble, they're fun to rev out. And then in the 90s, the Corolla went off to college. And while it didn't play D1 ball, it had to walk to every class, played a couple games of pickup two-hand touch on the quad. It didn't have a car throughout college, so it had to walk everywhere and it stayed pretty fit. It wasn't nearly as athletic as its high school days, but it was fine. Yeah, it wasn't eating the best, but that's okay. And now with this 2003 Toyota Corolla, it's graduated college and now it has an entry level, but stable job. It's grown up a little bit, but it still eats like it's in college walking to all of its classes. It now has a car and doesn't walk nearly as much. There's no two hand touch pickup football games on the quad anymore. And so naturally, it's gained a little weight. However, through that, you still get slight glimpses of its sportiness. When you put your foot into it, it can still rev. It can still get up and go. There's that little glisten in its eye. It still has that hope of starting that business with its college roommates out of state. Every once in a while, you get a little hint, a little view of the sportiness that once was with the Corolla S. And sometimes that's rewarding and sometimes it's disheartening. And now fast forward to 2022, the Corolla is becoming a family man. By family man, I mean an SUV. With the Corolla Cross coming to market here in 2022 in the States, I think it's safe to say the Corolla is happy with its cushy two and a half kids and golden retriever lifestyle. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but as with any state championship team, there's always going to be that moment where you take a long sip of your drink and say, ah, remember that, that was good. This is a turning point for the Corolla from little athlete now to grown up adult. This is just one of those transitional years where it's still clamoring on to its youth, but the days are numbered 
and the writings on the wall. Now, as with real life, you could extend the youth of this car. Toyota offered a TRD, Toyota Racing Development Supercharger Kit for this car. And yes, that would be a lot of fun. So there it is. The 2003 Toyota Corolla S is finally starting to grow up for better or for worse. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Toyota of Naperville for letting me take out their 03 Corolla S. I'm so glad I've been able to drive the 02 and the 03 from them. It's a really, really cool sample of the Toyota Corolla that I've been able to take, and I'm very appreciative of that. They are absolutely awesome. Their information is up on the screen. If you are looking for a new Toyota or a used vehicle, please go check them out. They have awesome inventory and I've been filming with them for over three years and I can't say enough good things but I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to rate the video comment on the video and subscribe if you really liked it take care guys